mobology.com and welcome back. Hope this video starts. Um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and even share this video if you can. So in this video we're going to be covering how to make an amazing save system. Well, technically you're not actually going to make it. I just have a script and we're going to like make a game framework and show you all the different things that this script can do. Um, yeah. So let's start by opening up Blender. It'll take a second to um, boot. So give it a second. Um, so, okay, here we go. So I'm going to start by selecting everything in my scene using the A key. And I'm going to press X or the delete key to delete everything in the scene. Press Shift S, and then go to cursor to center. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a bunch of things the game's going to need to save. For a start, we'll actually go to blend, from Blender Render to Blender Game. Click the default button, this button here, next to the default words, text, and go to scripting. Uh, we're going to make this bottom panel here to a logic editor. So, using the scene here, we're going to press Shift A, and we're going to add a camera. I'm going to press Control, Alt, Zero on the number pad to bring the camera to my view. We pre then press Shift A, and I'm going to add a cube to the center of the scene. I'm going to press S, and I'm going to scale it down a bit. Now, on this cube, I'm going to add a game property. Actually, we're going to add three game properties. So, no, four. One is going to be a timer, the other a float, one a boolean, and one a string. So now what we're going to do is we are going to select the camera and add some logic to it. We're going to say when the key is when the key of the space bar is pressed, the camera goes from one location to another, so I'm gonna press I. And I'm going to select the location, and I'm just going to move it over to like frame 19. It's here, Control Alt Zero. Press I, location I. And then actually, I'm going to go back uh, to frame one. R Z like this. I l l rotation. I'm going to frame 19. Is where it is at, and then press R, Z. Okay, I have no idea where this thing is. R, Z, I, rotation. So if I go back to frame one, here we go, Alt A, there we go, quick animation. That's flawless. I'm going to press Shift A, and then I'm going to press uh, C, and then A, and then we're going to add an end controller. So I know that's a tedious way, but it was just a fun little feature. So now I'm going to click this, and I'm going to press T. Oh, that's the wrong one. I'm going to press A. Oh, it's changed. Huh. And to add an action. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, it's going to be a play action. No, actually it's going to be a loop end, and it's going to be this. So I'm going to play, play, play space bar. I'm going to select this, select tap, select tap, oh, and I'm going to bring this to 1 and this to frame 19, 19, there we go, uh, there we go, so, there we go, um, and that's just that. Now this cube also is going to have something that is going to pray, say when the cube space bar is pressed, then a bunch of things are going to happen. So I need four for each of these properties, as well as another for a motion. I'm going to wire this keyboard sensor into all of them, and I'm going to add a bunch of properties using by clicking this and pressing Y. And that's four, and now we're going to add a motion. That was a message. What is the one for motion? Press U. No, oh, that's mouse. My bad. I'm really bad at this. What is it? Motion, motion, motion. Okay, press T for a motion. Okay, so we're going to do add. Um, I'm going to add the property prop. That's the float. And I'm going to add 1.1 1 .1 to it. Now we're going to assign the... We're going to toggle 
the property of property 001. I'm going to select all of these and go down here and go to show debug properties. Uh, on this one, I'm then I'm going to I'm going to assign prop 002 the value of lock. That's not how you spell lock. Lock. And what we're going to do in property three is we're going to sign. Oh, we got two float. Oh, that's a timer. And we're just going to leave the timer the way it is because timers automatically get bigger. So this works. I'm going to wire this into here. And it's also going to move it on the minus y axis. Minus y axis. Okay. So hit V. Okay. I'm going to hit escape. And now what I'm going to do is I'm um, actually, well, these strings are actually not working very well, so I'm going to go to the back frame. I'm going to add an, an empty play nexus there. I'm going to add a string string to it. Why don't I just keep doing that for? It, it's going to be a string, and it's going to say lock. And so in this one here, I'm going to select the cube again. I'm going to go to the one that's for a lock and it's going to be a copy and we're going to copy the property empty and it's going to be get prop there we go and so that's what we're going to do p there we go Space spacebar lock true and that is the 1.1 there we go false true false true false true false there we go so there we go now we're going to import our save script um, so what we're going to do is we're going to tap open over here and we're going to and you're going to want to download the uh, script from the description below it's going to be called Oh goodness, I can't find it. Gamesave.py. So there are a bunch of uh, save scripts out there. This is just the best one I have ever been able to think of. So um, it's got a bunch of things here, and um, I'm sure you, if you want to go in deeper into it, you can figure it out. But really, you don't need to add anything here, unless you wanted to ignore things. So you go down, use some, use the things you got here to ignore things and stuff like that. So. Um, download that from the description below. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're also going to have it so that um, we the scene automatically loads. So on the camera, I'm going to select the camera, and I'm going to hit this. I'm going to press always, and no, that's not always. That's uh, well, L is always. Thank you. Now I'm going to press. I'm also going to no. That will just. I'm going to add an always without anything on it. Do not make it positive. Then it will ruin it. Now I'm going to hit Python, and we're going to switch it to module. This one needs to be. So how modules work is they grab the name here. So this name is game safe, and then it's dot, and then one of the definitions inside of here. So we're going to do game save dot load. There we go. So that's the definition load in the script. You can go looking for that if you like. Now also what we're going to do is we're going to have it so that when you uh, press the keyboard enter of L. It uh, is going to is going to also do something. So we're going to do to wire this in, and we're going to go to module, and we're going to hit game save dot save. So there we go, and it's going to all save this. Now we're going to need to put this into a directory. So here we go. We're going to press this, and we're going to press save, and we're going to I'm just going to put it on my desktop, and we're going to say uh, tutorial save system. There we go. So that'll assign it a directory, and there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're all, all just going to go to the camera and I'm actually going to hit save again so it works like this. And I'm going to tap P, and I'm going to tap, tap space. So it goes like this, and then I'm going to press S. And then I'm just going to hit escape to leave. And then we've noticed on the desktop uh, there is a little thing. Yeah. Not really generating it, is it? So what we're going to do is find what is wrong. I'm going to window toggle the system console and see what we've got. Uh, not open read off. Okay. Oops, that was bad. Shouldn't have done that. So I run into problems like this all the time. It's just how animating and development works. So you're just going to want to look through things until you can find what the answer is. So always 
S, this probably just didn't initiate, so I'm going to tap this, I'm going to tap, and uh, actually I may as well put this to 100 so it doesn't like automatically go off instantly. What is it at? L. Why is it at L? Okay, L. S, do tap, wiggle this, and just F. Okay, P, press space bar, and press S, and then we're going to hit escape, and we're going to go back to the desktop. And uh, notice there's this new tutorial.save thing here. It's tutorial. Actually, yeah, it's called a. Let's see what it says. Tutorial.bgeconf. Okay, bgeconf fig file. Um, and so I'm just gonna open with, and um, it's nice. Uh, it saves it, so um, anyone who's smart enough with modding could figure out how to decrypt this. But it is also um, in encryption. Notice we got like enter enter symbols here. And we got all these things, so it, it's got all the stuff laid out here. So if you want to really do it, give things fancy names and make it completely confusing, like prop. <laughs> but if you want to give it modding support, like uh, give directions on how the BG conf thing works. So um, now, if we go back to our game and hit P, we start out in the location with the thing at the correct time. So I'm just going to wait for it. There we go. I'm gonna bring the values up a bit, and I'm going to press S, and then I'm going to leave, and then I'm going to come back, and it starts out at 10%, and it just keeps going up. So this saves location animation. Um, it saves pretty much all the states possible. So um, truly amazing save system. Um, I'm trying to make this tutorial rather short so I can upload it quickly, and so that's how you're going to do that. Hit file save to make sure you don't lose it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and uh, see you later. Suggest so what tutorial you want me to make next in the description below. I'm going to already see you.